Hi everyone. In this video, we're going to explore agent force capabilities to format tabular data with no configuration or code from our site. We're going to first imagine that I am Sofia Rodriguez, a customer for Coral Cloud Resorts. So what I'm going to do is to provide the agent with my email address and my membership number so that it can identify me. And then I'm going to tell it that I am arriving tomorrow and I would like it to plan a personalized schedule of activities for me. There we have. So the agent is able to tell me about some activities that are happening on the resort and that match my customer profile, my interests. But I want to see this information in a better format. So now I'm going to ask the agent if it can format this information as table. And very quick, the agent is able to share the information with me in table format, which is much easier to see. And now we can do things such as ordering the table. For instance, we can say that we want to order the table by duration. There we have. And let's say that I'm just interested in activities that last less than two hours. So we can do something like asking the agent to filter by activities that last one or two hours. There we have. So how was the agent able to come up with this? We want to take a look at everything that happened from the beginning. So first of all, the agent was able to select the right topic, the topic that addresses customer inquiries regarding to experiences. Then it was able to identify my user with the get customer details action. And then it used another action called generate personalized schedule. The generate personalized schedule action is an action that invokes a prompt template, a prompt template that I'm going to show you right away. And in this prompt template, I'm telling the model to create that list of activities that the customer may be interested in. The prompt template uses an Apex class called Personalized Gates Experiences. The Apex class is really simple. We are just calling another class that executes a query filtering activities by contact interest and then returns that in JSON format. And the prompt template simply returns the list of activities that the customer may enjoy. So because this is tabular data, every time that we instruct the agent to format the data in a specific way, it is able to do it just by using the tabular data that was returned on the first iteration. What do I mean with this? That the generate personalized schedule action was called only once. And when we started to ask questions such as, can you format this as table? That action was not called again because the data was cached. The agent already knew which tabular data it needed to format. And the only thing that it did was to reason and use its internal large language models to format the agent response in a different way. Same when we asked it to order by duration. And same when we asked it to filter activities by uh, duration one or two hours. Powerful, right?